this is just a quick rundown of a story we think could lead to why RDJ is back as Doctor Doom. Now, a lot of you saw the news. Kevin Feige probably said, we need you back. The fans are angry. Things aren't going as well. We need to bring back the old guard. Probably didn't word it that way, but that's how it feels for most of us. So now that we have him back, the main question is, how can Robert Downey Jr. play the notorious or infamous, I should say, Victor Von Doom? For those of you who don't know, a lot of people have been saying they expect that the story is going to be the infamous Iron Man in the story where Iron Man is comatose after Civil War II. You have Ironheart, Riri, who takes up the mantle as more of an Iron Man-like character. And then on the other side, you have Victor Von Doom, who now focuses a little bit more on the magical side, also starts wearing an armor and becomes the infamous Iron Man. This story doesn't technically make sense because RDJ would be playing Victor Von Doom playing Iron Man. Like, it wouldn't add up. So a lot of people have been suggesting that storyline and that story arc, but others have essentially pushed it aside and said, logistically, that doesn't add up. A more logical storyline, though, would be the what-if story, Demon in an Armor, from December 2010, in which Tony Stark replaces Reed Richards in the story of Victor Von Doom and Reed Richards being in school together. And essentially, Tony becomes the classmate and roommate to Victor Von Doom. And at first, obviously, they don't get along because Tony is his classical self, his rock and roll style, girl on his arm, heavy drinking, partying, rock music playing in the background, bothering type guy. I make that reference because literally there's panels of rock music playing while Tony is sitting and Victor is working on the whiteboard trying to figure out an equation. However, that does lead to a very interesting moment because Victor realizes when Tony corrects one of his equation that, oh, this guy is actually intelligent. And you kind of get a sense of, at least in the story at first, respect. But ultimately, it's not the point. And he tricks him so that they can swap minds. Victor takes over Tony's body, goes back to Stark Enterprises, works with his dad, kills his dad, or at least that's what they imply in the comic, takes over the company, manipulates people, pays off people, becomes a monster. The, the original Tony who would have done things based on intelligence, even the Victor who would have worked with using his mind has now relied solely on his power and his position starts to pay off people starts to be even more corrupt takes advantage of his position corporate espionage stuff like that on the flip side tony who is now in victor's body ends back up in latveria gets kicked out of school doesn't really remember what happened doesn't truly understand who he is he actually based on how the story is written almost sounds like he actually believes he is victor von doom and decides to, you know, obviously he goes through his little crisis because he doesn't really understand what happened. His mind's a little messed up. But, and we have that classic demon in a bottle scene where instead of Tony's face, it's Victor's face because he becomes an alcoholic dealing with the trauma of what he's going through. But ultimately, that swaps over. He starts to work hard. He gets a degree, multiple degrees, and becomes an actual doctor and becomes the actual Doctor Doom starts a company, Doom Industries, which has the Stark logo, but replaced the Stark for Doom, becomes a powerhouse. And at the same time, he's now on pace with Tony in the industry doing amazing things. The arc reactor comes into play at the end. The corporate espionage of Victor, who is in the body of Tony running Stark Industries, finds out that the arc reactor over at Doom Industries will outpace them. He goes, he has an armor that he's built that he was planning to sell to the military. It looks exactly like the Iron Man armor, but in the Doom colors, the green and the silver. Flip over to the other side. Tony is now building an armor of his own in the classic gold, now with a red cape done in what is known as Latverian culture style fashion. So he essentially looks like Doom, but with the red cape and the gold face mask. Uh, they square off because <laughs> Victor in Tony's body, in his armor, shows up, tries to take. Tony stops him in his armor. They fight. 
ultimately Tony wins because he is actually the more intelligent one. And that's where it ends. Now, we're not going to get this story in the MCU. The story itself would probably be a full movie on its own. What we might get is just that Tony, that Victor Von Doom in Tony's body. Variant, I should say. This is from Earth 11029, which was originally called TRN 076, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, bef these are the what if universes, which have now officially become alternate timelines. The issue came out in 2010, December 2010. And it could be, if they're using the comic books, the sole way you could have RDJ play, at least it's not the only way. We now know that variants can do anything because of the TVA and Loki series. But if they're trying to stick a little more true to the comic book, this would be the one story where they could do that and stay true to it. So we'll see what comes of that. All this to say, we're going to be talking about this and more on the podcast this week on Wednesday on Geek Cypha. Hopefully you guys can tune in. You can always watch it on Geek Cypha, G-E-E-K-C-Y-P-H-A.com. The episode is going to be up. Uh, we do it live at 7.15 on Wednesdays. So hopefully you guys can tune in. The whole crew is going to have a lot to say. We're also going to be reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine. So make sure you tune in. Peace, y'all.